Hey Trish. Yes, Jeremy is here with me. He should hurry up and come home. <laughs> oh goodness. Trish, when will you realize that this whole tradition thing that you about to be Jeremy's ex and he's about to be my husband thing settle in that your thick skull of yours? <laughs> Who am I talking to? What, are you trying to make threats now? Listen to me. You were supposed to come over here with Jeremy to take care of me. Don't you know that my kids are now your stepkids? You are his fiance, so, and he's about to be my husband, so, I mean, like... They are still your stepkids. You were supposed to come with him and care for me and the kids. With Benedict gone, and I'm sick. Oh, so now you got a potty mouth. Let me tell you something. Jeremy is spending the night here. <laughs> Don't have a heart attack, girlfriend. He's spending the night here. Oh, no, you're not. You're not coming here. You come here, I'll call the cops on you. It's not like he's your husband. And it's not like I got your child. You come here, I'll call the cops on you. When you had a chance to come here, you should have came with Jeremy because that was going to cut the workload into half so you and him can leave, but you didn't. You wanted to be all mean, smart, stuck up, and rude, and stay over there. But now that he's here, he's outside with the kids. You should have been out there with him too, playing with the kids. Oh, you think if he were in the house, I would not get on the phone and talk to you? Trish, I will talk to you anytime. I will talk to you if even me and be me, me and Jeremy in the bed, I will still talk to you. Oh no, he's not coming home. Matter of fact, me and him, we supposed to we, we, we need to start working on our baby tonight. Because mind you, he's my traditionally ordained future husband. This was set in stone way before he was born, before I was born, before you was born. Nothing can turn that around. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy. You're not coming here. He's spending the night here. We're working on our first child. And thank you for not even having a child with Jeremy. Jeremy, because according to the same tradition, we would have taken that child from you, ma, and put you on child support. What? Don't be what? What? I'm telling you serious thing. You are blessed for not having a child with Jeremy. If you know any of your friends who want to get with any of Benedict's or, Bre or Jeremy's brother, the, the brothers in this family, uh, you advise them. Because if something happened to Jeremy, I'm coming to the next oldest one. So just leave this family alone or be the side chick if you can't let go. But tonight, Jeremy is not coming home. Oh. <laughs> He's not coming home. <laughs> oh, call his phone. Matter of fact, I'm going outside to take his phone from him. He's my husband now. It's just, it's just a matter of time before you take that ring from your finger, that engagement ring, and put it on my finger. I'm going out there to take that phone from my future husband. You're not talking to him. He's not coming home, and you're not talking to him. 